Hey, what's up? I love an intro. All right, guys, back in some Honkai Star Rail, as I say that with arguably way too much energy. Um, I've been putting it off way too long. We need to do this Equilibrium quest. Equilibrium. Level 39 challenge. I challenge you. And this is the team we're going to challenge you with. Uh, I know I just got that light cone, but I just, I can't, I can't not. I need something to heal my depression. So we're going to do this for a little while. I actually have not played her on the team yet, so I have no idea how this is going to go. This could... i got to adjust my mic here. Uh, this could either be extremely bad, or this is going to be one of the single most amazing things to ever have. Oh, that's right. There's two. forgot about that. Okay, let's go here. And let's... Do we need to get you topped up? No. Let's get your blazing... Oh, it's so beautiful how much running I do. And it doesn't even really matter considering I uh, cut out all the running anyway. So no one will ever know the joy I feel from that ability. Ow. Those who use basic attack, how am I going to... Okay, well. Uh, I, but I already have it. Well, that's annoying. I, whatever. Oh. Oh! Thank you, All right, we know how this goes. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. Uh, this basic attack is going to murder you. Let's go. Welcome, customers. I literally can't. I hate this. Get this ulti going. Ooh, let's uh, get this going quicker rather than later. Mmm, tasty. You fucking gremlin. Alright, now we need this again. Oh, it's so nice. Okay, now if I remember right. What the fuck's my button? There we go. It's. If it's active, which it should be right now, uh, her ultimate is used additionally increases all lives crit rate and crit damage. So right now is a great time to use this. Oh, it's single target. I was not aware. Ma'am, I kind of have to attack you, so. Shut up. Get smacked. Oh, I didn't see I had one more. Okay. Welcome, customers. Let me your wound. Uh. Boop. Ah! Skill punishment, but now I have to use my skill. God dang it. A thousand wonders to raise uh, your spirit. There we go. Bailey, you're about to get bopped. Let's go. <gasps> oh, it didn't work. That's the first time that's ever not worked. Attack boost going. Now I need skill points. Ow, 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 ow. Yes. God damn it. Or I could literally just kill you, either or. There we go. Why heal when can kill? All right, okay, that wasn't terrible. Definitely a few little nuances I gotta get from this character. But for now, death! Easy, easy game! Ah, uh, definitely 
Oh shit, I got more technique points. Huh? What do you mean start? Did my trailblazer level instantly go to 40? What what is happening? This looks like a rough outline of a monster. Is this see another creation of the fragmentum's impact? I'd better check with Mr. Yang first. Alright, I'm just gonna send him some smart picks real quick. <laughs> what is this, Mr. Yang? Uh, stagnant shadows are entities that have been influenced by fragmentum energies and are confined within static space. Once external forces get involved, the space-time within the shadows will start to flow again. Uh, meaning, the imprisoned creature or monster may regain activity. I wouldn't recommend anyone to make contact with the shadows unless they're genuinely interested in certain priceless relics captured by the shadows. Just be careful. I, I, I've been working on the Welt impression. It's looking good. Stagnant Shadow. Defeat enemies to obtain character ascension materials. Oh. Mmm. You don't sound like Yoda, do I? Oh, I unlocked one of these. <gasps> Don Shu. Whoever the fuck you are. Megatron? Whatever that is. Whatever. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not going to scroll down anymore. I've learned my lesson after scrolling through the database. I need to unlock this because that's how I get a copy of the nerd. Interesting. Oh, I got to do this too. What's today? It's Saturday? Oh, I got to blast through my weeklies. Holy shit. Omni synthesizer. Why am I opening this up? Oh. Is this the only way to obtain these? Because I've been needing these for traces for a while now. Um, I'm not going to mess with that just yet. Uh, missions, tutorials, stagnant shadow. Oh, this is, people were saying this is how I get relics, right? I think this is how I get them. Well, okay. Um, do I want to do that? I don't want to do that right now. Uh, the whole purpose of me getting on today was I want to do a companion mission or two. Um, what do we want to do? So I got all the purple ones here. We have a Night Stranger, Evanus like the Morning Dew, Time Express, Blizzard Immunity. Rarely if it, so. This one's with Hook. I do love me some Hook. Uh, really affectionate, if I remember right, is Clara's. There's Immunities and Natasha's. Time Express is with Serval. We have not hung out with Serval in a while. I think we go chill with Serval, guys. I remember the call. She invited me on a date, and I asked my mom to get the camera. I don't know if it happened. Gives me a full body migraine. Well, maybe don't think about work. How's that sound? Uh, oh, wait, shit, before I progress, I should really probably level up the team. <laughs> I don't want to click it. I'm going to go over here first. Uh, oh, I need those materials. Mm. Oh, this, oh, this isn't, oh, how do I, how many things does this, oh, hey, I got another one. Holy shit. Damn, honor going up quick, ain't it? fuel that I've never used. What's in my travel log? All right, actually, while I'm in here, you guys can help me out. Um, so this is uh, the next part of the game, right? I assume I can't do this. Even though it says unlock it now, I'm not going to do that. Uh, this is for the new March? I, I think, right? I don't know what any of this is. Uh, I have no idea what that is. Panty mission. I assume I can't do that either. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, for those of you wondering why I hold on to these Star Rail passes, it's for the comments that you're going to send me. See, I need a couple things to survive in life. Food, water, shelter, and the salt that comes from the comments that wonder why I have so many standard passes. So, when you see me at 7 in the morning, the sun has barely risen. I'm on the edge of a foggy waterside, 
I got my waterproof overalls on, my fishing rod in my hand, my hat on with my favorite hooks and tackles in it, my fishing tackle box off to my side, and I'm just fishing for those comments that want to know why I hold on to these passes. It's for the moment when you send that comment and I get to see it. That's why I do that. Ah, oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, oh, we got the Lynx one now, right? What the fuck is Pure Fiction? Complete the mission, Yaoshi's Clever Decor. And clear Pure Fiction Stage 2 during any phase to unlock the character Lynx. You know, I thought of this before. I couldn't remember the symbol, but is that Gepard's Thermos? That's funny. And then I need to unlock whatever the hell Forgotten Hall is so I can go get a uh, fraction or a piece of this character. If I already have that quest and I just haven't done it, somebody let me know. Um, no. Actually, no. I do need to do this because I need the, the shit for one of these. I don't know which one I'll get, but I want one of them because I need a really good... Uh, why can't I think of it? Why can't I think of it? It's not a craft essence. Don't say it. It's not a craft essence. It's not a W engine. Light cone. Oh, I got a headache from that. Oh, it took so much effort to find the, my two brain cells and figure out which of the two had that knowledge. Uh, and I've been grabbing them. Don't worry, guys. I've been grabbing them. Okay. As you can see, they're there. And she's swimming like a dolphin or a whale or some shit. I don't know. She's like, grab the tickets, Donnie Vic. And I'm like, no. And then I shove something down her face. Um, aptitude showcase. We already did this. Okay. Yeah, the reason I don't want to upgrade Bailu is I do want to pull for this character. I think this character is going to be necessary for the Foxy and Dream team. Uh, so that's this is going to be a thing. This this is going to be a thing. But yeah, let me know about these two specifically. I really don't think I could do that one. That this it's a continuance mission, right? I don't think I can do it. This one I might be able to do. March might be cool. I don't know. You guys have probably already done it, right? Actually, no. Wait. Yeah, no, it doesn't look like I can do this either now that I'm actually looking at it. Mm, definitely can't do that. This is now done forever. This I could probably go do. Maybe not. I don't know what Pure Fiction is. And I need to unlock this because I want a copy of her. As you guys have told me, lots of copies of her make her even better. So that's what I want to go do. Um, well, shit. This is... I almost hit enter to see who had chatted me. And I don't want to do it because I have a feeling I know who it is. Um, I don't want to out people. Luckily, some of you, your name in the game is different from your name in the comment section on YouTube. So that's, you're safe. Um, okay, I, I, I do got to figure out which one of these quests I'm going to go do. Oh, yeah, that's right. We said we were going to do the server one, right? A night strain. Yeah, everyone told me to do the dueling frost blades or something. I don't think I have that one. Do I not have it? Teacher, her friend, including that's old friend, new learning, don't forget. I for an eye. Yeah, I have I have no uh, wait. Is that Dunn's quest? Mm, what did you say? Sorry, I just need an excuse to put that in the game. Um Yeah, you guys let me know which one of these you want me to do or which ones I should do. Do not tell me why. Do not explain in depth who, where, when. Or and again, why? Just say the name of the quest and if I should do it. <laughs> Shouldn't be hard. I'm literally asking you to type less. <laughs> okay, let's let's go bug servo now. We've upgraded a little bit. I'll upgrade more of everything and do the farming off camera. You know, I might if I go do simulated universe, I might grab the harmony one because I'd get it for Tingy and she deserves it. But I've been told by everybody that Mesh and Cogs is just amazing. Nice. So, my lady, I'm here for our date, even though it's been like six days since you sent me that text. Where did they get to? Where does the time go? Ah, speak of the devil. I was just wondering when you might show up. <laughs> Showed up right now. Have you placed my order yet? Don't worry, there's enough to go around. On the house. Order whatever you like. Well, coffee for two, please. There's something I need your help with. <laughs> I had to make it up to you somehow. 
What, for saving your planet? Eh, I guess that's worth a cup of coffee. Looks like we're not the only ones who wanted afternoon tea today, though. We'll have to stand up for the time being. <sighs> Was it that obvious? <sighs> I'm out of practice. To quote my boy, you're a terrible liar, Servo. Always have been. This is the price you play for cleaning. Well, you're clearly better traveled than I am, and I know how generous you are. <laughs> I feel embarrassed to ask now. We're only in a room full of people. Don't feel embarrassed. Ask away. Uh, how can I put this? With words. If I remember correctly, you, March, and Don Hong came here on that train. The Astral Express, right? Yes, it is. we did, in fact. Uh, it's currently having cat problems. Anybody watching this outside of literally today when I just released that cat video for ZZZ, this isn't going to make any sense. I just noticed that when I release videos, I put in references to other videos. So in like a year's time when people come back and watch this, if they're even watching this by then, or the planet hasn't destroyed itself by then, this is going to make no sense. I was wondering, is the train accepting new passengers? Uh, <laughs> I guessed as much. <laughs> you see, there's not much left for me here except to carry on repairing equipment in the workshop. I like practicing the guitar, and performances are fun, but crowds are pretty small. You are on a recently dead planet. Besides, I'm a researcher. How could I not get excited about the chance to explore new worlds up close? Everyone gets tired of living in small places like Balablog after a few years, right? I, 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 I... I can't be the one to welcome you aboard. Okay. Okay, I, I'm counting on you. You also just reminded me I have to text a friend back about a job I was looking into for her. Oh, shit. That, oh, that's bad. Mmm, that's really rough to discover just now. Ooh. Mmm. Oh, that real life leaking into the video there. <laughs> yeah, what is happening? This is a pretty big ask. Oh, shit. What just. There goes Serval. I better send Himiko a text and ask about the request. Dude, I for one would be absolutely thrilled or to have Serval. Ask Mr. Yang or Pom Pom. I, all three is what you would have to do, right? Hmm. Who's the best one to ask? Himiko. Let's send a message to Himiko. Like there's no other thought in my mind. Miss Himiko, I have a question. Ask away, Donnie Vic. <clears throat> Must fight it. Go. Oh. Away from the cock. Fuck. God, my will's been tested. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. She's meticulous. I mean, hold on. This is tough. I mean, she's a repairer. She. Okay, hold on. I, I, I have to do this just in case I'm doing this right. She's a repairman, repair woman, and she is a, like a, a musician. So she's all about little details adding up to like a big thing. But she's also uninhibited. She's both of these things. I'm going to say she's meticulous. Oh, I didn't even think of that. I like to be polite with Himiko. Because she's usually very shocked by it. I wonder what would have had. Oh, man. I, okay. Oh. 
Did we finish that quest and now it's already on again? I, I have no idea what just happened. Whatever. You guys asked for companion quests. Here we are. I didn't expect all the fighting to go off in the beginning. Also, I didn't get that achievement for looking at every trash can in Bellabug, which leads me to believe somewhere out there is literally a single trash can. There's literally a single trash can somewhere in Bellabog. I need to find that mother... Oh, we're going to the shop. No shit. Okay. Oh. See, I have no problem with her joining, but she's got like a whole family here, even if she did get kicked out of the family. Oh, this is tough. I don't want to look at this. You should go and talk to Lady Bronya, Serval. It was her personal invite, after all. It's, this is why Serval wants to leave. She's like, I've been invited to a party I don't want to go to. Please, please help me. I know, I know. Let me think about it. This is a bad time? No, not at all. I could do with a hand, actually. Your part? How you doing? Perfect timing. Please, talk some sense into her. I knew it. <laughs> I'm not taking a side. I don't even know what's happening. It's just it. There is no deal. Serval, I understand your reluctance to rejoin the Silvermane Guards. Oh, shit. But Lady Bronya values your talent. And she sees how much you could contribute to the rejuvenation of Bellabog. So I came to talk to you about it. Oh, they want her to rejoin? In any case, you should at least pay her a visit. <sighs> okay, I get it. I'll make a trip to Clipot Fort and tell Branya what I really think. Sorry, I need to get this over with. Let me know what they said when I get back. Same old Serval. <laughs> That's your sister for you. Is she creating trouble for you too? Kind of, but it went better than I thought. Uh, sorry. My head's still in the argument. It's like this. As you know, my sister used to be one of the research team leads in the Silvermane Guards technology division. Mm -hmm. Stellarons were yeah, Stellarons. the main area of research. But her expertise went far beyond Stellarons. She was, and still is, well-versed in mechanical engineering and other fields. Immediately after her succession, Lady Bronya set her sights on Serval's talents. Yeah, why wouldn't you, right? The Supreme Guardian wants her to resume her technological research and be a shining light for the revitalization of Bellabog. Jeez. However, you saw her attitude just now. I doubt her meeting with Lady Bronya will change anything. It'll probably just leave them both feeling dejected. Yeah. Mm, I, mm, okay, hold on. I'm on the fence with this. Like, I feel like I wouldn't be able to stand an office job, but I, I literally sit here hours out of my day doing YouTube, which is sitting at a desk typing. there's more than one element to it my intuition tells me this is most yeah to madame cacolia's passing i was just about to say she probably feels something about cacolia being gone that's true but i mean you got to imagine right after everything that happened if i can't remember if serval i don't think we told serval the truth or no, Serval was literally with us. She knew the truth. But I don't think we told her the ending truth. Like, could you imagine? Like, this whole time Serval thought her friend suddenly betrayed her and, like, ruined everything for her, kicked her out of the guards and the family, only to discover later she was being mind-controlled to do that and that her friend was probably still... Oh. That's... That's a lot. Never mind. It's just a personal hunch. I've never been good at reading my sister's mind. Most younger siblings can't do that to the older sibling. They think they can, but they cannot. I can tell the two of you have a close bond. <laughs> the chance. See if you can persuade her to open up about it. We'll see. The hand on heart. I wouldn't want to see her sitting behind a desk in Klopoth Fort and sighing all day either. 
Oh, you care. You're so swell. I love you. Bellabog is too small a place for a mind as inquisitive as Serval's. Maybe it would be better for her to join you on your journey. I mean, we literally could always come back after we adventure a little bit. Like, I jump through those world anchor things like crazy. You should see the farming I do off camera. I, I like, I think we literally could, like, take Serval on a world or two and then bring her back. I'll admit, I'm a little worried about how she plans on getting all this across to Lady Bronya. Man, Serval would have been great in Washtopia. I think her and Argenti would have really chimed. Are you busy? Let's go and wait for her in front of Klipoth Fort. Alrighty, Gepard. What are we about to go see here? I'm so terrified. Some main guards are guarding the fort. I see that. Oh, never mind. You're right here. Doesn't seem like they've finished talking yet. I hope it's not turning into a shouting match. Let's go in. See, this I. This, this happens to me in games where, like, you're, like, the random character from out of town who's, like, allowed to go into the, all these important places just for free of charge. But then I have to remember, oh, wait, we literally saved the fucking planet and are friends with the leader here. So let's go on in. I understand your circumstances, Sir Val. I respect your choice. Man, that's got to be weird considering Bronya's like, what? At least 15... Maybe close to 20 years younger than Serval. It was my mistake to make an unwarranted request without considering your own wishes. Allow me to offer you my apologies. I hope you don't take this matter to heart. No, no need, Branya. You're a supreme guardian now. Don't let a little thing like this... Besides, I'm the one who should be apologizing. I've put my own personal reasons ahead of Bella Bog's reconstruction. Oh, no! I get it, Serval. After all, you and Mother... Oh. Uh, sorry, I don't mean to open up old wounds, but there's something I need to ask you. This guitar, I found it after going through Mother's old things. Isn't that literally Serval's? She was never a music lover, so I thought this might be connected to you. Kakalia. You... Huh? I... It's nothing. Uh... You're right. It does belong to me. In fact, it once belonged to me and Kakalia. It was a shared treasure. If you don't mind, Branya. Could I take it back to the workshop? Of course. I'm sure there's a story behind it. But that's between you and Mother. I won't pry. I hope you have an amazing journey, Serval. Do remember to visit home when you get the chance. Uh, <laughs> I will. It was like, ooh, as soon as I'm out of this office, we will never see each other again. One hero, galactic baseballer, coming through. Damn, Capard is tall. I assume you heard our conversation just now. I didn't expect her to be so open-minded. And she didn't even try to persuade me to stay. She didn't summon me just to return that guitar, did she? I wouldn't rule it out. She's good at reading people's minds. She would have known that you'd never set foot in Klipoth Fort voluntarily. After all these years, I never thought I'd set eyes on this guitar again. <sighs> Guess we're stuck with each other. Thought she was about to break it down over here for a second. <laughs> if she did, I never knew about it. The story behind this guitar. <sighs> It'll take a while to tell. So I was playing Devil May Cry 3 and I killed this boss. When we were in cadet school. Or wait, shit, was the guitar in two? Oh god, it's been too long, I don't remember. Someone in the comments will correct me. We were always coming up with the next crazy invention. We called it exploring the infinite possibilities of new technologies. This guitar was one of those inventions. 
if Kokolia came up with a name. What's the name? The super electromagnetic flux player. Or electric guitar. <laughs> Wait, are you sure you didn't? Was Kokolia Texas? Oh, oh no, I love both of these responses. Uh, uh. 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 Not really, no. She was a military history major. Very different from what I was doing. Still, we hung out every day. It's only natural that my love for inventing would rub off on her. <sighs> I told you it'd take a while to tell the story. Let's get back to the workshop first. By the way, uh, want to help me pack my bags? If I pack your bags and then you have a change of heart by the end of this quest and then I have to unpack your bags, I'm never coming back here. Huh. That melody. That's one of yours, right? <laughs> I don't think many people like that one. Seems the city might have a few nice memories of me after I'm gone. Swear to God, sir, well, don't change your mind. Now, what am I going to call this new song? What should we do now? <laughs> How's Capard doing? <laughs> He's just right there. There's no place like home. I never feel completely free out there. Ah, she likes the workshop. Chapard? Can you lend your dear sister a hand? Help me pack my bags. Oh, it's like salt the wound. How could you ask him to do that? Am I allowed to refuse? In this place, just looking around gives me a headache. <laughs> Am I allowed to refuse? My boss asked me a question at work a while back ago. And that's how I responded. Okay, okay. It's <laughs> like, am I allowed to say time. no? <laughs> I'm about to go traveling with him. Who knows how long it'll be before I can visit home again. You should help me pack while you still have the chance. Fine. I'll give you a hand. Oh, I didn't like that fine. You just need to make yourself at home. You've done plenty of work already. Oh, thank God. Wait, I have to do it anyway? Oh, you sick. I hate you. Is that a cactus? Oh, that? It's a botanical specimen. Little Linksy sent it during one of her research trips. Ah, reference to Lynx. For the name. It's the second one in the story. I quite recall. Cactus. Snowman's palm. Snowman's palm. And little Linksy is the youngest sister of the Landau family, by the way. Ah, yes, yes. Ah, Snowman's palm. <laughs> My memory's the worst. Oh, there's another one right there and there. Okay. It's the only plant here that looks like it's still alive. I mean, they are some durable fuckers. Watch it. Anyway... This specimen means a lot to me, so I'm bringing it with me. Thanks for the reminder. Okay, the guitar now. Since you're so curious, I'll give you the whole story. All right, but wrap it up. I'm at 52 minutes already. This guitar was actually given to me as a birthday present by Kokolia a long time ago. I came up with the design, but I was never able to build it. Some of the raw materials were either too expensive or too hard to get a hold of. She helped me turn the concept into reality. Quick as lightning, always keeping her word. That was her way of doing things. Back then, I thought we'd be friends for life. Life's got a weird way of doing that. If it was a gift, why was it in Madame Kokolia's office? I don't think anyone realized, but... Back then, we were so close, we didn't even differentiate between each other's possessions. We shared pretty much everything. We lived in the same dormitory, went to the same school together every day, ate together, filed away the time together, and occasionally talked about music together, though it wasn't something she was overly familiar with. That's how things were until the day we fell out. A lot of our shared possessions never left her office again. I was always looking forward to the day she'd return this guitar. I thought that would be the day we could bury the hatchet. <laughs> now that I think about it, perhaps I was too naive. She'd probably forgotten it even existed. 
And that's the only Kakolia you guys ever got to know, huh? Always ahead of everyone else, never looking back. And for a second, she put it all out of her mind. Me and every memory to do with me. You know, that's what makes it harder. Yeah. Bygones be bygones, sister. How did the conversation get so heavy again? <laughs> it's easy. No good. <laughs> Let's talk about something interesting. You know something, Jakari? That guitar case in your hand and my guitar? They're both from the same prototype. The super electromagnetic flux player. I never knew your guitar had a connection to me, too. Quite the story. I no, I think the better story would be the moment someone handed you a empty guitar case and said, you want to use this as a weapon to beat people up? And you obviously said yes. That's the story I want to hear. Like, no doubts in my mind. Well, let's see. Ah, yes. A uh, Silvermane Guard standard issue portable heater. It, it's broken, though. It's a family heirloom. Belonged to Rhonda once. You should take care of it. I wanted to keep it with me. But that's the problem with old things. The less you use them, the easier they break. Besides, no one's paying me to fix it, right? Hey, wait a minute. Didn't I teach you a few machine overhaul skills? Want to practice on this old antique? Oh, no. Here we go again. Depart, please. Save me. Like I said. Well, Jeppy. Bygones be bygones. The principle behind this machine and the one you fixed when you first came to the workshop is the same. You'll understand when you see it. So, I'll leave this one to you. In return, how about I tell you the backstory behind it? Can I please just click on the next one? <laughs> what? No, 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 no. <laughs> you see, I'm just short of hands here. <laughs> Think about it. You helped me fix my machine the first time you came here, and now you're helping me the last time, too. That's called having a beginning and an end. Chill, chill. I'm just teasing. I'm Why just teasing. With her for this long? Oh, no, we got to do it anyway. Fuck. Wow, great job. Like I said, a reliable apprentice. As promised, let me tell you the story behind this little heater. No, please, let me click on the last item. Its original owner was an ancestor of the Landau family, Rhonda Landau. She was one of our great heroes who participated in the defense of Bellabog 700 years ago. And you think you're going to repair that fucking heater? The records tell that during the decisive battle, she led two Silvermane Guard brigades. She engaged the enemy for four full days and nights in the fight for the city. I still have the newspaper clippings from that time. 700 years? I'll show you when I get the chance. How is that ink? Of course. After all, she was a Landau. Hmm. Take responsibility for your choices and the people of Bellabog. Every Landau was driven by that ethos. My God. Uh, Gepard, where's the last one? There it is. Oh, that's a letter I was going to send to my mom. I haven't even finished reading it. There's nothing personal in it. Have a read if you like. I ain't going to read that. That's to your parents. Still writing to mom and dad? Only to mom. You know, I still don't get along with dad. You know, Sir Val, if you're really leaving Bellabog for a while, you should pay them a visit first. Mm, I'll think about it. Might as well. That should be everything. Don't do something you'll regret, ma'am. You're here. Come on, let's gossip. <sighs> Finally. I think I must have left Cadet School with about the same amount. No easy job. <sighs> Serval. Oh, this is rough. I want to ask you again. Do you really want to leave Bellabog and go with the Trailblazers? Of course. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I, I can't miss it. What's wrong, Jepard? Oh, I see. Can't let go of your dear old sister, huh? That's probably literally it. I... Forget it. I don't want to complicate things for you. But before you leave, 
I have one last request to make. The garrison is heading down to the underworld soon to survey the situation around Golder Town. Oh, wow. Why don't you come with me? Huh? You just said you didn't want to complicate things for me, and now you're sending me on a mission. Uh-huh. You just want to spend as much time as possible with me before I go, right? That's probably it. <laughs> no, it's not that. I've heard there are a lot of old energy hubs in the underworld, and you're probably the only person in Bellabog who knows how to inspect them. Since you're leaving one way or the other, why don't you do the people of the city one last favor before you go? You Good recovery. Like this. You're still thinking about the people. I think he's only thinking about one people right now. All right, I'll help you out. The first and last time the Landau siblings will work together. <laughs> That's why. Oh. Thanks, sis. If you have the time, could you accompany the garrison? You're Bellabog's hero. I'm sure you must be popular in the underworld. The Silvermane guards will face less resistance if you come with us. That's a fact. Thanks. I'll contact you when the guards have finished their preparations. I'm tired of packing. Let's leave it here for today. Thanks for your help. Oh, I drank all the tea. Why am I getting sleepy? It's poisoned. Oh, we finished the quest perfectly on time, too. Holy shit. Is that really... There's no way that's really it, right? It is. Hold on, I think I have a message from her. Maybe that's it. Where are you at? Here you go. Did Silverman Garth talk to you, lady? Reply ASAP. Huh? Oh! Oh! <gasps> My God, what? I yeah, what is? <laughs> I only got an image in my head. Did anyone ever watch Jackie Chan Adventures, the animated one, when Uncle screams? Ah yeah, <laughs> that's all I thought of. Oh, okay, that's funny. Alrighty, well, that's it for the companion missions and a little bit of the, uh, the next farming that I'm now going to have to go do billions of. So, um, hopefully when we come back to this, everybody, my characters will be out. Oh, well, mm, you know what I should do before I leave? Or no, maybe I won't. Never mind. I'll, I'll save it for a separate video. Yeah, I'll drop the block just like the nerd did there. Anyway, that's what we're going to call it here. Adios. Have fun all. Why do I always do that?